My name is Namali Shown, and I'm one of the CDC leads for the COVID-19 response in long-term care facilities. Today, we are going to talk about how clean hands combat COVID-19 and discuss some key points for understanding the role of hand hygiene in COVID-19 prevention. This is part of the key COVID-19 prevention messages for frontline long-term care staff. The residents you care for in nursing homes and assisted living facilities are the most vulnerable to COVID-19 infections. Because of their age, frailty, and chronic medical needs, nursing home residents are more likely to have severe illness leading to hospitalization and death. Eight out of every 10 deaths from COVID-19 have occurred in adults over 65 years of age. We all must take action now to protect them. You've probably heard a lot about hand hygiene before, but did you know that nursing staff can touch up to 15 different surfaces during a single care interaction? That means an average nurse working with five residents each hour would be expected to touch over 900 surfaces during a shift. Viruses like the coronavirus causing COVID-19, bacteria, including C. diff, and other germs can all be spread from our hands to our residents, their care equipment, and other surfaces in the room. Cleaning our hands often during these interactions contains their spread. There are four important moments when you must clean your hands before any contact with the resident or their environment, before every clean procedure, such as placing a urinary catheter or a peripheral IV, after handling soiled items or body fluids, including after emptying a urinary catheter collection bag, and after touching the resident or his or her environment. If you clean your hands at each of these moments, you will be doing your best to protect your facility. You've probably had many in-services about hand hygiene techniques, but did you know that alcohol-based hand sanitizers are preferred by the CDC for most hand hygiene opportunities? Hand washing is recommended when hands are visibly dirty or contaminated, such as after caring for residents with infectious causes of diarrhea, like norovirus or C. diff. Why does CDC prefer alcohol-based hand sanitizers? Well, it's because they are extremely effective against coronavirus, influenza, and many antibiotic-resistant germs. In fact, studies have shown hand sanitizer is more effective than washing hands with soap and water. Why? Because the alcohol, hand rubs, and gels start killing germs immediately. These products are easy to use because they coat the surfaces of your hands and aren't relying on perfect technique or a certain amount of time. Also, you can put up hand sanitizer dispensers all over the building, at the bedside even, which is hard to do with sinks. And the good news is that hand sanitizers are less drying and less hard on your skin than constantly washing your hands with soap and water. We don't always think about it, but our nails can actually provide a safe space for germs to hide away from the killing effects of soap or sanitizers. 
Although we all enjoy pampering our hands with manicures, people taking care of residents should really avoid artificial nails and keep their natural nails trimmed. That way, we aren't taking a chance that our hand hygiene isn't effectively getting rid of all the germs. We all use a lot of gloves during resident care, but we have to remember that while gloves protect our hands, they are not a substitute for hand hygiene. We should be cleaning our hands after every glove removal and making sure we don't accidentally use the same pair of gloves with more than one resident. We don't realize how much we touch faces, our hair, or our clothing during the day. So be mindful of what you're touching and definitely don't touch yourself or reach into your pocket with gloved hands. Also, although we are trying to conserve our use of personal protective equipment, we should not be washing gloves with soap and water to try to use them again. So remember, clean hands protect everyone, you, your residents, and even your family. Do your part to stop the spread of COVID-19 by cleaning your hands frequently and reminding others to do the same. We are all in this together, and sometimes it helps to have a friendly reminder when we get busy. Support your residents in cleaning their hands too, before meals, after toileting, and throughout the day. If they have clean hands, then everything around them also stays a little cleaner. Bring your good hand hygiene practices home as well, so you, your family, and your community all stay safe. Here are links to a variety of resources available on the CDC website. They provide more information about COVID-19, additional guidance, and tools. Thank you.